Hello, hello everyone. My name is Urvi Goyal and I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. In today's video by Scalar, we'll be discussing top five tech jobs with little to no coding. A lot of times I've seen people who want to be part of the tech industry because of their interest in the tech industry or their experience or probably the perks that are available in the tech industry. But these people are not really interested in coding or learning DSL. If you are one of those people, then in today's video, I'll be discussing the job description, the degree and the skills required to get into these job roles and the average salary for this. So get ready. But before that, make sure to check out Scalers free masterclasses on Scalers event page taken by industry experts. Let's dive in. On number five, we have a UI UX developer who is a professional responsible for designing and improving the visual and interactive aspects of a digital product, such as a website or an app. Now, a lot of times a UI and UX developer will have the same role or they might be different roles as well. The UI developer is mainly responsible for focusing on the look and feel of the product. They're responsible for developing visually appealing and consistent user interfaces, considering the branding, the aesthetics, and the user management. Whereas the UX designer is focused on the overall user journey and the interaction. They are responsible for enhancing user experience by ensuring seamless navigation, user flows, and overall usability. UI UX developers are also responsible for conducting user research to understand their target audience, their needs, and their preferences. They'll also do wireframing and prototyping to visualize and iterate on design concepts, and they'll conduct usability, testing to gather feedback and make data-driven decisions. The skills required to become a UI UX developer. First of all comes the design tools. You need to be proficient in design tools such as Adobe XD, Figma, Sketch, or Adobe Creative Suite. You also need to have the ability to create interactive prototypes for user testing and stakeholder presentation. Now, for these roles, understanding of coding is not always required, but it might be beneficial to your role. And this would only require the basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. UI UX developers also need to have the skill of having a strong understanding of user-centric design principles and empathy towards the end user. They need to have the ability to analyze user feedback and data to integrate and improve their designs. There's no specific degree required to be a UI UX developer, but most of these developers have degree in graphic design, interaction design, or human computer interaction, or maybe computer science related fields as well. The average salary of a UI UX developer in India, according to Glassdoor, is six lakhs per annum. At number four, we have data analyst role. Data analysts play a pivotal role in turning raw data for companies into meaningful insights. They are responsible for gathering, processing, and analyzing data to help companies make informed decisions by providing data-driven solutions. From identifying trends and patterns to creating visualizations, data analysts contribute to shaping the strategic direction of an organization. The scope of a data analyst is expansive, with demand spanning across various industries like finance, healthcare, e-commerce, and much more. The skills required for becoming a data analyst are first of all proficiency in statistical tools because you'd be using them in your day-to-day -day work. Statistical tools and methods are essential for integrating data patterns and trends. Another skill required is data cleaning and wrangling where data analysts need to clean and reprocess data to ensure accuracy in their analysis. They also require data visualization skills in tools like Tableau, Power BI, or Python libraries like Matplotlib or Seaborn to create compelling visualizations for effective communication with the rest of the team. 
they need to have the skill of creative thinking and critical thinking to approach problems with a critical mindset understanding the context of these problems and implications of the data that they analyze again here programming skills might not be a necessity but some knowledge basic knowledge of languages like sql python or r can enhance the analytical abilities of a data analyst the degree required to be a data analyst could be anything from the area of statistics mathematics computer science or any related discipline so there is no one specific degree that you need to have and the average salary for data analysts in india is around 7.35 lpa according to glassdoor at number 3 we have technical sales now technical sales is not a very known role but these professionals play again a very important role in the tech industry their primary objective is to bridge the gap between complex technical solutions and potential clients so their role is majorly involved in b2b companies rather than merely selling a product technical sales professionals they are tasked with understanding the intricate details of a tech product or service and effectively communicate its value propositions to the potential customers that the company might have this requires a unique blend of technical knowledge and sales acumen making technical sales is a challenging yet a very rewarding field in the tech industry the responsibilities of a technical sales professional can involve understanding the technical specifications of a product identifying what the customer needs exactly and aligning the features of the product with those particular needs they also often engage in product demonstration they deliver presentations and make connections with the potential clients the skills required to become a technical sales associate first of all a very important skill having a technical aptitude you don't need to have programming knowledge but the technical know how of the product or the service that you're pitching it also requires excellent communication skills and negotiation skills with the customers a customer focused approach is required in this role and the ability to build and maintain relationships with these customers successful technical sales professionals not only enjoy competitive compensation in the tech industry but also have the satisfaction of playing a crucial role in driving the adoption of innovative tech solutions so tech sales associate job this might not be very popular in india right now but it's very big in the countries like us canada uk but in the coming years we might also see an increase in trust or the need for these job roles in india as well the degree required for becoming a technical sales associate is not a some particular degree but a computer science related or an it field related degree along with mba is what most of the companies look for the average salary of a tech sales associate is around 8.6 lpa according to glassdoor at number 2 we have a business analyst role these people act as intermediaries between business stakeholders and the it team they are responsible for understanding the business needs and translating them into functional requirements for the software development team or the technical teams so business analysts they gather document analyze business requirements and they work closely with the stakeholders to understand their objectives their challenges and the opportunities to identify areas of improvement in business processes and accordingly they propose solutions to enhance the efficiency and the effectiveness of the tech teams business analysts are employed across various industries from finance to healthcare to technology and more their skills are transferable meaning that they can also work in diverse sectors and have various opportunities in career growth with potential paths leading to 
roles such as senior business analyst, project manager, or even transitioning into roles in management or strategy completely. The skills required for becoming a business analyst, number one skill is analytical skills. Because business analysts need to intercept complex data and trends, helping organization make informed decision. They also need to have good communication skills for understanding the business needs and conveying the technical information to the non-technical stakeholders. Business analysts should have good problem solving skills to identify problems within the business processes and propose practical solutions. Again here, coding is not required, but technical proficiency is good to have for becoming a skilled business analyst. Business analyst roles also require some basic management skills as they are involved in managing projects or some aspects of projects and involved in communicating with a lot of stakeholders. The preferred degree for becoming a business analyst is technical degree, some degree related to computer science or IT along with a management degree like an MBA helps. The average salary for a business analyst according to Glassdoor in India is 8.74 LPA. And finally, at number one, we have program manager role. Program managers play a very important role in overseeing and managing multiple related technical projects in an organization. They're responsible for ensuring that the programs align with the organization's objectives and contribute to its overall success. They work closely with the various teams the business stakeholders, the developers, the data analysts to coordinate efforts and achieve strategic goals. Their responsibilities also include planning and developing program strategies aligned with the goals of the organization. They're responsible for efficiently allocating resources like budget, personnel, time, etc. within the program. They also build and maintain relations with stakeholders, ensuring their needs and expectations are met. Program managers also ensure that the programs meet the quality standards that are set within the organization. And they're responsible for assessing the progress of individual projects within that program and make adjustments as needed according to the feedback. Program managers often work on initiatives such as system implementations, product launches, process improvements, and the skills required for this job role are first of all leadership skills. They need strong leadership skills to guide project teams and navigate the challenges that they face effectively. Also, along with leadership skills, they need good communication skills so that they are able to clearly and effectively communicate the program objectives, the updates and address the concerns of the team members. They need to have strategic thinking to align programs with organizational strategy that contribute to the long term goals of the organization. They're supposed to have good problem solving skills and be very adept at identifying and solving real world problems. Along with this, program managers are supposed to have good organizational skills and risk management skills to identify potential risk and implement strategies to mitigate those risks. The preferred degree for a program manager role is a degree related to business administration, computer science, or any field related to this. According to Glassdoor, the average salary of a program manager in India is 19 LPA. And these are the top five tech job roles with little to no coding required. So if you have interest in management or if you have interest on the data side, on the research side, or if you are a people's person, you have good communication skills or good sales skill, 
you do not necessarily have to go and learn DSA without any interest. Try to go into these five jobs, look what interests you and let us know in the comments if you want a detailed video about one of these job roles. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.